Major L. Gordon Cooper, Jr. suits up for the most ambitious space flight yet undertaken by the United States. Postponed from the day before by bulky equipment, the flight aims at 22 orbits, 34 hours, or a day and a half in space for the Major. It's a perfect day at Cape Canaveral as Major Cooper enters the van that carries him to launch pad 14. He's to follow in the path blazed by Glenn, Carpenter, and Shira in Mercury capsules. The three and a half mile ride from the hangar to the pad is made amid an air of rising anticipation. A successful flight today would probably bring an end to the Mercury program. Then Uncle Sam would move to Gemini spaceships and week-long flights with rendezvous in space. But right now, that's in the future. None of the astronauts were any more relaxed than the smiling Cooper on his day of days. This is what he has trained long years for. This is his date with destiny. With portable air conditioner in one hand, he receives good wishes with the other. Good wishes and silent prayers for his success. Then up to the 11th floor platform to the white painted ready room where he will enter the Faith Seven, named by Cooper in acknowledgement of his faith in God and country. 6.32 Eastern Daylight Time. An astronaut enters the capsule carefully. There must be no tear in the 28-pound space suit that would protect him in case of a capsule malfunction. There's a brief four-minute hold, then the countdown continues. Seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, the 95-foot spacecraft and Atlas rocket rise perfectly, straight up with its thunderous roar spreading over the Cape. Millions throughout the country, throughout the world, follow every moment of the takeoff. They hold their breath, they murmur their prayers as the booster and sustainer rockets cut off, and Cooper is off on his historic mission a mission that is a giant milestone on the road to the moon. Cooper checks calmly with Alan Shepard at the Cape as Faith 7 speeds out over the Atlantic. Roger, we have a good girl here and a pitch 50. We're good on Pico time, Pico should be nominal. So it's on around the world. At the end of the first orbit, he'll get his okay for seven revolutions if everything is in order. A minimum of seven it is. Mercury control gives him the go ahead for at least 10 more orbits. And as people snap up newspapers on their way home, the great flight continues. The next morning, the word is still go. During the night, the major slept for eight hours as his capsule drifted in orbit at 17,000 miles an hour, the speed that carried him 22 times around the Earth and then right onto the target area near Midway in the Pacific. Here the Kearsarge was waiting with other pickup ships for Faith 7 and Gordon Cooper. There was high drama during the last few hours of his flight. Cooper had to take over manually to fire the retro rockets that slow the capsule for re-entry into the atmosphere. This was one of the outstanding performances of our space program. He had to have his capsule in perfect position. It was. He had to drop his rocket bank himself. He did. This was flying by the seat of his pants. Cooper had faced such emergencies in training, and he played it cool. He starts his descent over Red China right on course, right on schedule. The Drogor pilot chute opened just as smoothly as in this animation. Cooper's target area is 115 miles east southeast of Midway Island. He couldn't be closer than this. Astronaut Walter Shira landed within four miles of the same carrier, the Kearsarge, on his flight, but Cooper is chalking up another record. He drifts down within two miles of the Kearsarge, the main chute dropping the Faith 7 gently to the sea. This was the planned pickup point. 
But rescue ships have been deployed around the world in case of emergency. The helicopters are aloft as the capsule descends, ready to plug Cooper from the sea if necessary. They were not needed. 34 hours, 20 minutes, and 30 seconds after takeoff from Cape Canaveral, Major Gordon Cooper is back on Earth with an unprecedented flight behind him. A flight the entire world followed as he blazed a path across the heavens. Major Gordon Cooper, with star-studded footsteps, he's left a trail for others to follow.